Hey everybody. So I've just been sitting here listing. Hopefully, let me make sure my volume, my volume wasn't all the way up. Um, hopefully you guys can hear me. I've been hagging, having, lagging on my internet. Um, so that's a bummer. I'm not sure if it's my computer or what. Um, so I do have some two new social media pages. I guess I should mention um, they're just strictly for selling that way I can just add you know people all across the world um, and they can purchase for me via social media um, so Instagram here is Texas reseller um, but somehow I have the heck a back scratcher just fell off my washer um somehow i have resale queen on here um so i made up just a fun little funky name and i guess that's what i came up with i don't know i didn't put a lot of thought of into it um so i did make a facebook page to you guys and so that is um resale queen i guess so i did add pickers um what is it body oil guy he's on my page you can find me there if you're friends with him and i didn't open the chat you guys look at these cute jellies i posted like they're jelly heels so cute and they're like bubblegum pearl pink um so yeah i'm just listing today um and actually right now i'm telling you guys what i'm going to be doing right now I'm going to message a friend because my blue healer is very old and his hips are hurting and he's having trouble when it's really cold outside uh, walking, mostly when he plays with the ball too much outside, chasing it, throwing the ball. So she knows about a little bit about animals and taking care of them or a lot, should I say. I'm going to message her to see what I can do to help him with the pain or if I need to take him to a vet, which it's just pain, right? So let's see. Here she is. <coughs> so excuse me for a minute. Okay, now I have to find her again. Okay. Hey, you. Let's see. So my oldest dog is having major hip pain. Is there anything we can do at home or should we get a RX? Uh, hip pain when it's cold. Okay, cool. So if y'all know, let me know. Um, so I'm going to list these shoes. And then I found this something cool, you guys, that I did today to kind of organize my area. You really should keep it organized um, so you're not stressed out. I constantly try to pick things up and put them in where they go and be organized so I'm not stressed out, like I was saying. Um, but check it out. This little display here I use as a background piece. Look what I put in there. I put my um, de-shedder like to get the lint and stuff off. I do need to change the batteries, but I just randomly <coughs> put it inside here. And so it'll always be where I need it. Okay, so that's what's going on with me. Not sure if anyone else is doing a live video, but I am listing. Let's see. Just randomly today because I have too much stuff. So we'll open the chat real quick just in case anybody messages me. Okay, I paused that. Good morning, Blue Eyed Mama 86. Hey, and hey, Pickers. Thanks for joining, guys. Hope you guys are got a chance to list today. 
my husband should be home soon. We're supposed to go to the gym for once. Um, so this may be not as long of my videos. Y'all know me, I go like hour, two hour videos. So this one won't be as long. Um, I'm excited to list these because I actually wish that I owned a pair of these, even though that's a super high heel. Um, but I would love to wear a size eight or seven and a half, probably in this kind of nude color. Um, so I, when I found these, I was super excited, but unfortunately they are a six and that's like way too small for my foot. So I did sell a pair of pants, you guys, like I've been sitting here listing for probably over an hour without you guys today. Um, and I sold a pair of pants, like not even 30 minutes after I listed it. Super cool. There's some cabby red pants. I had them listed high 25 bucks. Um, she offered me 15 and I countered and then she came back and offered 17. So I just went ahead and took it just to make the money. Right. Since I paid like under a dollar for them at the bins. So here they are. I put even just the tag as the main picture because I was sitting down taking this. I didn't take, I don't know, long ways of it folded out all the way. Just kind of folded. It's very convenient and fast that way. So let's see. My earnings is $13.60 off of a dollar. And again, the buyer paid for the shipping. So I just printed out the label and this sucker's in my mailbox same day shipping. Cool, huh? I think so. Look at these Jamaican Sanooks. We're going to list those. So each of these shoes I paid $2 for. They're super easy to list. I have buckets and buckets of clothes to list. But these shoes I can knock out pretty quick. So that's why I'm doing it. And I listed a purse yesterday. Big old purse. It sold for 25 bucks, you guys. I need to do a what's sold video, but I'm kind of really mad right now that I haven't sat down and watched how to edit videos better. If y'all notice, I did edit a bunch of thumbnails on a bunch of my older videos to make them look more appealing. Um, but that's as far as I got. I'm still struggling with freaking editing YouTube videos. It frustrates me. And I don't want to hire somebody to do it for me because I'm super cheap. That's why I'm a reseller. Okay, so the only thing wrong with these shoes is they have these padding that's been removed. Um, and I'm actually going to show the laptop in the picture because I think the laptop still looks cool in it. My chair's squeaking. Y'all hear that? <laughs> it's my kid's chair. That's what it looks like. Not too bad, right? I'm going to take a picture of the name. is called a Stacy, Stacy, S-T-E-C-Y. Okay. And I'm going to show the beautiful heels because there's hardly like no flaws on those heels, you guys. Bam. Perfect. Look at those bad boys. These shoes had to have cost like, I don't know, I'm going to start low, like 60 to 100 or more. I don't know. So next picture, I'm going to show these sweet toes that have like no dents in them at all. No scratches, no scuffs, nothing. Hello. These shoes are beautiful, you guys. Okay, I love them, I love them, I love them. I can't see the chat over here, sorry, let me move it. Okay, good, nobody's really said much. I'm super hungry, I haven't even eaten lunch. It's 11.46, so it's getting pretty close. Okay. 
these are done and underneath my table here I have like three Tupperwares and so the shoes I'm throwing them into um, one box and then I'm going to carry them to my garage to store them until they sell so those are done um I picked up these cool like skater flats it does say these are women's they're a six and a half I think but look they're the cool DC perfect condition um so I'm gonna list these real quick I'm just gonna take a picture from the side you guys like that Hey, Pickers, I don't know if you saw it, um, but oh, I didn't finish listing those shoes. Hold on. I did share your business page or your Etsy or something like that to my um, Facebook reselling page. So you guys should go share Pickers um, oil business. What does he call it? Body oil, Mr. Body Oil page. It's awesome. Um, and it's very inexpensive, so you can get buy in bulk, and he'll ship it to you. Um, six medium, we're going to call those heels. They were nude, strappy, peep toe, I guess. Um, I'm going to call them like cocktail shoes because they are like fabulous cocktail heels. I don't know. Okay. So I'm going to put pre-owned, worn once. And I do that a lot, you guys. On like all my Poshmark listings, I just always put, because, um, you know, I buy stuff that's in like mint condition, basically, most of the time, or I'll describe otherwise. I just put worn once. Like these look like they're worn once. And so do um, a lot of the other shoes that I have. So, and I take good pictures. So that's all the description inside those heels, um, category, shoes, heels, size six, brand is Steve Madden, color is, okay, cream, and I'll use tan, so no. So the price on those, e, I didn't look up any comps. I don't know what exactly they're called, so I probably um, need to know exactly what those shoe style are called. So since I do love them much, I'm going to crazily start these at $60 because um, I may actually would pay something like that if these were my size. Like, honestly, you guys, if I had a huge event to go to or something, I think they're worth that. But I will lower them. As you guys know, I reduce my stuff every two days. So every day, 24 hours or every two days to give discounted shipping, even on Poshmark. So profit there would be 48 bucks. We're going to list those babies. Oh my gosh, I love them. And there they are next to the bamboo shoes. I think my tummy is about to start growling. Okay. So, I'm going to hit sell, and we're going to sell these DC flats, slip-ons, whatever you want to call them. It's the lighting. I think it's because I'm facing up, you guys. Nope, I don't have any makeup on, so I don't really want to be in the camera. So, <laughs> that's why you don't see me. Um, Look at that good photo you guys with that white background that's how you take pictures right there um the toes gotta have it bam look at that i should put in the title how to take photos to sell shoes or something on my <laughs> topic so i'm gonna put um Oh, okay, she says that RX would be better. Okay, so I don't know if any of you guys don't know, but uh, I love skateboarders. They're so cool. Um, an abbreviation for skate is like SK, and then you can do the initial or the number eight. So if you see that, uh, SK8, that's what that means, skate. And I'm going to put slip-ons. 
Uh, they do have like a hemp. This is a like a hemp. And then this is what a blue jean kind of, I guess we'll put blue jean in there. Blue jean color. Okay, that's it. So described, I'm going to put again, pre-owned, worn once. And I also like to type in the words, no flaws, no flaws, you guys. There are no flaws. Okay, flats, loafers is the category. These again were a 6.5, 6.5. And I'm going to type in the word skater too, or skate. So the color is blue and red. That'd be a good picture right there with the side angle of that. Man, I do not think I'm going to be able to go to the gym. I'm super hungry before we go, I'm waiting on my husband to get home. Um, we're going to start these at $30. I'm not sure what the retail is, but we'll do 30. We'll lower it. Y'all know I always do. Okay. And I think I like that picture better than all the ones I took. Let me see here. Okay. I'm gonna have to get some orange juice. I'll be right back. Look, I'm not gonna prop my phone up. I'm crazy if somebody messages me. Okay. <clears throat> Yummy. Okay. Something. Okay, these shoes are listed, and actually, I can take a picture of the inside. There's a name for these. I think they're called a Villain Jute, is what it says, maybe? Okay, that was so good. We're going to take a picture real quick, you guys. And I think I need to type that in, because somebody might be looking for these. Okay, it says Villan Jute. We'll go ahead and type that in. V I L L I A N. Is that how you spell it? V I L L A I N. Okay. Villain. What in the heck? Jute. And then the bottom, I had to move the skate to the bottom paragraph because it wouldn't fit in the top line. If y'all know what I'm saying for you postures. Okay. Those are done. Um, I looked these up. I'm going to look them up for you guys and I'm going to show you that I think I saw a pair of these sell for 25 and some of them sold for more. So they are called a Joseph Siebel, Seibel, I don't know. And they're real leather. Too bad it's winter though, right? Joseph, Joseph, S-E-I-B-E-L. And sandals. And I'm going to go to the, see there's some here listed for 99, but they're super cute. See those? 50, 35 people have it listed, but we're going to go to two solds. Yep, those same ones sold for 30 actually. See the other shoes? They sold for a lot, so you guys should pick these up if you see them. These are 15, 20. You know, I can start high, and then, you know, we can do, even do 35. So they're in excellent condition, you jewel guys. 
They're a size 37. That's the bottom, super clean. Okay, so okay, so it's just an ugly sideways picture, nothing perfect. You can see what it is at least. Choose sideways. Do a front one. Front one. Get real close up of the toes. This little twisty tie bag is totally keeps in my being in my pictures, you guys. I don't want that. Okay. Yeah, that looks good. We need to make sure to put leopard. You gotta put that in the description. Okay. Let's see here. Oh, I'm gonna show the bottoms too because they're super clean. Sandals, we're gonna put leopard. Um, I don't know what to call this, like a silver hardware? I don't know. That's not the right word. Okay. So I'm gonna put on these pre-owned worn twice because they are pretty good. I usually copy and paste this, but I haven't done it yet. Pre-owned, worn twice. Yeah, if you don't feel comfortable putting worn once, just put worn twice. If I know something's only worn two times, that's better than like 20. So category, shoes. Oh, and get this, guys. Um, let's see here. You know how people say measure everything that you list? You know, you should take the time to do that. I'm telling you, I listed a pair of cabby pants today. I just told you all about it. I was going to measure the inseam. I totally forgot it sold within 15 minutes after I listed it. Um, and then I sold a huge, big old black purse. It's in the mailbox right now with those pants. Um, I sold this huge purse, and I described it as an oversized large bag. And they didn't even ask me to measure it. And a lot of people do, but I mean, you can go back and do it. Um, just try to get everything listed. I think you, you'll get things listed more. Um, I think I just have a hard time sitting down and staying focused and setting goals. You know what I mean? So let's see these also have like a little bit of a spandex stretch right here and i really do like to put that word in the description because some people have honestly a fat foot they need spandex so spandex stretch i guess is what i'm gonna put um i know my foot is wide so new with tags no Original price. I'm gonna put 99 like if you have a good quality item just put 99 um, You don't have to be specific. So What do we say the other one sold for 30 so I'll list these for 35. That's fine I'm sure I'll reduce it sooner. Leave it till next summer Okay, so there they are Oh, and I didn't get the bottom, so we'll take a picture real quick of the bottoms. Mm, they're not as great as I thought, but I do want to get that 37 in the picture. European, I guess they're made in Europe or something like that. Did I get a close-up of his name? I don't think I did. Um, so the leather, I am going to take a real good close-up of that pretty leather right there. <clears throat> and if you want, you can display the shoe in the background. And we can point out the um, spandex here in the picture as well. So they can see that it has spandex. Okay, done. Throw it in my basket. Okay, we're gonna list these some nooks for 30. Well, we'll do 25. Um, I know they're like 40 to 60 brand new in the store, so I'll list these for 25. 
they're in really good condition. They remind me, the fabric reminds me of the details I'm going to put are Aztec. And then, um, what is it? Jamaican. They are totally like Jamaican colors to me. I might use my handy dandy. I just got this recently. Um, I think I bent it too <laughs> already. I'm going to prop this up in one of them to make this pretty firm. Show the, show the crisp, perfect, Nick. Look at that. It's like a brand new shoe, you guys. Okay. So. Well, it doesn't even look like it in the picture. I'm going to take it out now. Look at that picture. I mean, I must say, it's pretty freaking pretty, isn't it? What do you say? That's clean right there. Yes, it is. I would buy those shoes if I wanted them anyways. Um, so, the first description, we're going to do voice active. No, she doesn't recognize Aztec. Never mind. So, Aztec... Jamaican, Jamaica or Jamaican, Jamaican print, Sunnucks. I'm going to put slip-ons even though they're not really, but that's how most people wear these. They don't put their heel inside, they slip these on. Um, they're super cool. So again, I thought I copied and pasted. I did, copied and paste in the description, all I'm going to put pre-owned, worn twice. And I'll put in no flaws. So let's copy and paste that. Copy. Category, shoes, flats and loafers, right? Are they? Slippers? Hmm, would you guys put them under flats and loafers? Or slippers. They yeah, have flats and loafers, so I'm pretty sure. Size. I have no idea. These are a size 8. Love it. I got a lot of 8s, you guys, and that's exactly the size I wear. But these are not really my style, so I'm not keeping them. Even though I do love the Jamaican color. It's super cool. And Aztec. But it's just not mine. Not my kind of what are they? Sunux is the brand. Color. What color is it? The main color is... I'm going to have to go with... Ooh, that's tough. So, I always type in the extra colors because it only lets me do two. I'm going to have to go with red and orange, maybe? And I'll type in blue. Or multicolor. Multicolor... And then down in the bottom, I'll type in blue, yellow, black. They're black. Um, they also have a lot of funky shapes, too. Geoprint? Is that what they are? <laughs> okay, geoprint is for, like, patterns, I believe, you guys, like, shapes. I don't know. I never said I was a genius. Okay, even though I am. New with tags, no. Zero price. So the original price, I'm just going to put 60 bucks on the top line. You can put zero, um, but they do cost around that 60, I know. And so the list price, what did I say, 25? Bam. Sold. Listed, I mean. It'll be sold eventually. Here we go. Go follow me on Poshmark. Uh, what is my username? Smith4190. Got 310,000 followers. You can click that 310. Just tap it, right? And just start following all these chicas. Okay? And they'll start sharing your stuff, dude, for you. Like they will. 
go share some of theirs. You don't have to, but just go back here and just tap all these people, man. Just keep doing it. And then they will all follow you back and they will just share your stuff even if you don't share with them. I do share people's stuff, you guys, but this is how I got 310,000 followers is literally by doing that for a, for like a week or so. I don't know how long I did it, but that's what I did um, a couple years ago when I started on Posh. These ladies like work for you. They're like little minions per se. Basically, that's what Poshmark is, like minions. See these uh, notifications here? <coughs> Every time I list an item, people are sharing it. I'm not even sharing nothing of theirs. I may not even follow some of these people, and they're still sharing my stuff from parties or whatever. So, it's cool. <coughs> okay, so we listed those, right? I think I needed... How many pictures? Yeah, I only have two. So I'm going to take an inside of the uh, tag. And the green tag, luckily, is right here with it. So I held it back with my thumb. You can't really see that, but there you go. Hey, people, I got six viewers. Hello, hello. Let's see here. Maybe the back? Because that's where people walk on and I can show the condition. Okay. Those are done. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Okay. What can I list next? Oh. This is what I got done, you guys. I'll show you what I did. I put all the shoes that I just listed in a good, I got this basket at the bins and I know they cost like $5.99 at the store. Um, so I throw them all in here and then I'm going to carry the whole basket and transfer them into a clear bucket like this, which I probably should just switch these right here. Let me show you. Okay. Go ahead and knock my orange juice down. So like a clear tub like this. And I actually got this one at the bins too. And it didn't have a lid. But most of my stuff, either I bag it up in this Goodwill bag. So it's sealed anyways. Or I'll just throw all these shoes in here and I don't put a lid on them either. So the only thing I have in here are these two shoes I didn't list. So... I'm just going to transfer them lightly, right? Lightly into this. And this is going to sit either beside me or when I get done, I'll move it to the garage. So, okay. So, I don't know why I wanted to wipe this down with a wet cloth. I'll do that now. So the reason why I haven't listed these men's shoes, they've been worn a little bit more, um, but they seem like they have dirt on them. So I'm just using this old washcloth here that I wash all the time. It's just real old and faded. I'm going to get it a little wet and just wipe this off a little bit. And we're going to let it dry so I won't be listing it in, the picture, in this video. I am. Um, We'll let it dry and I'll list them soon. So I'll show y'all what I'm going to do. Which I don't normally do it over my white cloth here, but just for y'all, I'll do that. So just wipe it gently. Like so. I need to look these up, how much they go for. And I wonder, yeah, see, it had a little, little bit of like a mud. It really looks like mud. A little stain right there. And I got these because my husband loves these, but not, this is a bluefin. My husband loves the Sanooks, and we had to buy a new pair. I've already told you all this, but he puts holes in his, literally. 
So I went ahead and got these because I think somebody will love them. Okay. So we'll let them dry or just, God, it looks like they'll be dry in like five minutes. So. Okay, let me see how terrible I look. Hold on. <coughs> Not too bad. Okay. I guess. I guess. I feel like I'm a hot mess. Let's put these over here by this window because it's nice and warm. They'll dry it super quick. Okay. Got to send a house. Doing it. I'm working like five different real estate transactions right now too. Super busy, you guys. Um, so addicted to reselling, too, though. Do, 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 <clears throat> okay, done. All right, so we're going to so I got five notifications on Poshmark, and somebody luckily liked my new jelly shoes I just listed. Some girl, so she hit the like button. And if I reduce them here tomorrow within 24 hours or your first time, it will offer that discounted shipping. I think these things are so cute. I had no idea that they make jelly heels. And I'll tell you what, they go for good money too. Look them up. This one's Melissa, the brand Melissa. And you know what? We're going to go ahead and list these because they're already dry. I keep, no. Are they? I can cover it up with the other shoe. That's what I'll do. We're just going to list these so I can put them up. I'm tired of looking at them. Okay, so... I still can see a little bit of the water. Hmm. <clears throat> okay. Let's see, these are a size, oh, they're called Rocket. Okay. And these are done. I'm just going to throw them in that bucket. Okay, so men's rocket size eight. Um, I'm gonna put like similar to Sanuk, similar to Sanuk's Sanuk. That way Sanuk will pull up. Okay, Sanuk style. What are those fins? They're blue fin. B L U E F I N. Blue fin. Wait. Blue F I N. Does it have an E? Nope. Blue fin slip ons. Pre owned, no holes or stains. Bam. Got it. Hey, Peter Scazillo. Sorry, I just saw your message. I'm not sure how long ago you posted that. How are you? Thanks for joining. Freaking love putting up this table inside my house. It's just a little like garage sale table or like an event table. You can get it anywhere, Walmart, anywhere. And it folds up. Um, I get all my shoes from the bins, the Goodwill outlet, and man, I find good stuff like almost brand new Tory Burch. Um, find all the 
everything, just anything you could ever want. So what did I just list? Men's, men's shoes, these. I don't like putting stuff on Poshmark for men's because the market's slower. It's mostly a women's avenue. At least I feel that way. Blue fin is not even on Poshmark. I don't even know what it is. So, where do you get all your shoes from, Peter? Or do you buy shoes? So, those are brown, and let's just put tan for shits and giggles. Okay, new tags, no. Zero, new price, and I'm going to list those for 25. We'll lower them here in a couple days if we need to. So, okay. Hello. I know I look like crap. <laughs> I don't want to show my face. My doggy, he um, is having hip problems. He's old. I'm going to miss him whenever he passes. He's having trouble getting up, you guys. He doesn't want to get up. <laughs> He's so sad. Okay. Ooh, I gotta give out a shout out to what is it? Megan Reed, R E E D, on YouTube. She uh, did a video where she spray painted her mannequin, and that's what I've done here. It's like the antique tan, it's almond, I believe, an almond spray paint. And I've had my mannequin for years, you guys, from Hobby Lobby. Um, it was like 40 or 50 bucks for that bad boy. So there's my rocket men's shoes. It's Poshmark is slowly starting to get more men because they just about not too long ago started to allow men's items and kids. So, okay. Mm -hmm. Y'all like my shirt? I made these like a couple years ago. This one's a marker. Yesterday I wore one with paint. And this one, like I said, is like a marker um, fabric. And it's lasted better than the paint. It's pretty cool, huh? I handmade them. It's so cool. Well, at least I think it's cool. What do y'all think? Look at Peter just bounced. He asked a question and then he left. He didn't even reply. Confirm if these pairs are neat. Okay. Come on, people. Get with it. Um, did y'all see this? Check it out. So I'm not going to turn my neck in around. Oh, y'all are looking at my big butt. Sorry. Look at this cute thing. I posted it on my Instagram. You're still there. Sorry, Peter. You didn't bail. <laughs> Sorry. The, I guess you're like the only one looking. I don't know if Pickers left. Are you here, Pickers? Let's see if my ticker counter is even right. But anyways, this is real rabbit fur, and I got this at the Benz, the Goodwill Pound store. Um, and it is excellent quality, you guys. There's no stains and no holes. It's beautiful. It's like something out of Hollywood. Cool, right? So soft. You know, does anybody, people ask me sometimes some easy common sense questions like how to tell if something's vintage. I'm pretty sure this is possibly vintage. I'm not sure. Um, but you know how you can tell that this is a rabbit for you guys? It is like the softest thing on earth. Like you're on a cloud nine or clouds, whatever you want to call it. Um, that's how super soft this rabbit fur is. Um, and if you don't know what a rabbit feels like, maybe you should go hold a rabbit and you will then know how to feel. I mean, go hold a real rabbit. Don't hurt it, you know, so. 
that's how to tell. Um, I'm going to go put this in my garage because there's a way. And I don't want my kids to get dirty. Okay. Yep, Pickers bounced. He's probably watching something. So you just started selling on eBay, but you're having a hard time so far. Peter, yes, eBay is tough. That's why I don't list on there as much. Um, so I mostly sell shoes and women's clothing. Um, as you can see, there's two tubs right there full. And I have no idea why this is not folded and hanged up nicely because I'm pretty sure this two-piece set goes for like $100. Um, I should be taking better care of it. Um, but yeah, eBay takes a lot of patience. Um, I think I, the best, from my opinion and from someone who doesn't sell on eBay as often, but I do have stuff listed right now, I'll show you. Um, the things that sell the most for me and the often is when I put that best offer on there. No shit, you guys. Like, people literally do use best offer. And the auctions, you can just sell your stuff for like, way way cheap because you know ebay wants you to put it at 99 cents screw that um it sucks when your item literally sells for 99 cents ain't nobody got time for that hello um so what other sites do i sell on um ebay or i sell on ebay poshmark um if you're not on poshmark go to my older poshmark videos just click my channel like this, watch. Go to that video link. And if you'll scroll down to the oldest, uh, like Poshmark videos, like let me find one down here. I'll give you an invite code and it'll give you five bucks off. And if not, you need to promote your own invite code and you get free money to buy stuff on Poshmark, you guys. Like use it. You can buy free stuff to resell just with your credits. You can get like over $50 worth of credit um, on Poshmark. Well, gosh, you have probably have to look way down here. Let me find a Poshmark video. I'm gonna repost it, hold on. So I sell on Craigslist, and then as I said earlier in the video, I am doing Instagram and Poshmark, uh, Instagram and Facebook. I created new pages for that. Um, but I also have sold a couple things from these YouTube videos um, from Pickers. Pickers has purchased for me and um, so has, I believe, one other person. So let's see if this invite link is in here. Nope, it's not. I really need to... Uh, Put that on here. Hold on. Hey, everybody. Let's see. Where is the invite code? There it is. $5 credit. Use the code if anyone's even doing that right now. When you go to Poshmark, make sure you don't sign up without hitting in a code or you'll have to re-sign up with another email if it doesn't ask for the code invite. Use H as in Hector. Z as in zebra, J as in jump, P as in Paul, D as in dog, H, Z, J, P, D for my invite code. So I'm going to copy that. If I can, will it let me? No? Okay, I'll do that later. Okay, I'm just going to list some stuff for a minute, maybe. Maybe. Not that stuff. Okay, here we go. I have another black furry vest. We're gonna sell it. I need to get it out of my kitchen too. This one should go for a little bit more because I have a hood. It's a hoodie. You know what I need? I need like a spinning mannequin so that I don't have to move this thing. It's so annoying to have to spin it because then it comes loose in some spots so oh my gosh
<clears throat> okay, done. Sorry. Let's see. It's so cute. It's a furry hood. Oops. Okay. Let's fix that. This is so cute, you guys. It's perfect for fall and winter. It's classy and warm. I would so wear this. But I'd rather sell it to make money. Okay, I have enough clothes as is. Oops, almost stepped on the dog. You're in the way. Can you get up? Oh, you got it. Okay, I guess we do need to get him a prescription. Go on, bud. Do you need to eat, buddy? Mm -hmm. Want to eat? Here, I'll bring it to you, okay? Yeah. We do need to get him a prescription. <laughs> it's going to be so devastating. It's so devastating with the old dog, you guys. Okay. So my pictures don't look as good on that mannequin as they do on the white carpet. Bummer, right? I love the white carpet. So I'm going to get some close-ups so they can get the design of it, which is, can you see that? I got reflections real bad in here. Anyways, it's like a sweater and then fur. Super cool. Yay, he's eating. Aren't you, bud? He's a good boy. I'm trying to get the inside of this hat, you guys. It's like silky in there, so that's pretty. Except for my painted mannequin here. Oh well. So I'm going to take a picture that it has pockets. Sideways. Oh yeah, and that shows the back fabric, which is all sweater, so that's cool. Okay. So that. We need to make sure to put that it's got a zipper. Okay, so I'm going to hang that. And we're going to take pictures of the tag here and the fabric tag in here. Man, Burnton Hill 100, he's, um, we had to put down the female a couple of months ago, so I'm not sure that he's going to get better. He's just getting older and older with age, but maybe the medication will help. I don't know for how long. I've not had too many dogs that I've had to deal with that were old age, um, but super thankful. I know some people that tell me I do need to take him in to see the vet instead of just letting him suffer at home every day. Okay, so. Okay. And, okay, that's what I got. Thanks, Branson. Um, you're welcome, Peter. Let's see. You too. Have a good day. Check out other sites. So I think that let go and stuff is good. Local sites are good. I've never been able to get onto that Etsy stuff. Um, I have accounts there and I don't know. I just, I like to stick with one or two sites and not be everywhere, I guess. So yeah, I don't know. This is too much work. Okay, so what do we have here? <laughs> uh, moving along, right? Got to describe this sweater before my phone will die. I mean, it's not dying, but, you know, it's getting a little close. So, fur vest for the cyst is what it typed. Really? Fur zip vest. I want to put sweater vest. 
sweater vest. Okay. Free owned, no holes or stains. So in case anyone's curious, for a short term on things that have been worn, you know, like let's say five to ten times, I will put pre-owned, no holes, no stains, because there will be wear, but there are no stains and no holes, which is like the most important thing ever. So um, it's still in good condition. Keep it short and simple and sweet, right? Okay, so it's a jacket, coats, under vests and it's green tea never heard of it an extra large good size brand never heard of it green tea color is solid black new with tags no original price I'm gonna put 75 and I'm going to list it for 25 so my profit would be 20 I did see that the vest, uh, if you go to Solds and the vest on Poshmark, there's not too many, or there is a lot sold, but they're all like 25 and under. So I'm not going to hope for a ton of money on any kind of vest because I have another one listed too. One or two. I think I have a total of like three vests listed right now. Mm -hmm. This one, super cute. It's furry too, you guys, so cute. Look at that, love tree. So we got green tea and love tree. They look like anthro tags to me, I don't know. Anyways, love the leather detailing. Okay, so this is listed. This and a Tupperware. You know, I'm going to have to use this green basket because I don't have a Tupperware yet for blisters. Um, so a big item like this, I'm not going to bag it. I usually hang it up or I'll just throw it in a big bucket. So, not sure on this. I'll just probably put it in a Tupperware with no bagging. Oh, yes. Here we go. I don't know what I'm doing, guys. We're going to go back to the table. Come along with me. What is this? Really big shirt. Lucky brand. You need to be long ways for the way. Wonder if I could do that. <clears throat> Hello, I know I'm not, I don't know what I'm doing, but I'm not listing this shirt like that. I am going to list something else, some pants. You feel better, bud? You want to go outside? Come on. It's so cloudy, huh? It's Okay, pants. Here they are. I hear the mailman for the newscast. You know what I mean? Yeah, right across the street. Actually, it's the mail lady. Okay. I'm really excited to get these pants listed because they are, I think they're expensive, you guys. Uh, the diesel, I think. We'll look them up together on Poshmark. <coughs> Man, my husband's taking forever. 
let's see, how can we spell this on the table? Put it like a triangle. I think I marked all my packages shipped on Poshmark. Let me make sure I did. Yes. Okay. So we're going to look at these pants. Diesel green pants, maybe? D I E S E L jeans. Are they pants? What's the difference, you guys? Anybody know? Jeans are blue jeans, and can you call blue jeans pants? Okay, diesel size. Let's go to the solds. And I need to take off my size. Okay. So they go for like 25 bucks or whatever. People are saying they spent like 100 for them. So I thought they were going to go for more, but I don't think they will. There's yellow, ew. I sold those same pants, I think. No? Okay, never mind. Okay, I'm gonna start these at 35. They're kinda like army, army-ish? I don't know, combat-y, kinda? I don't know how to explain that. Let's see. Diesel. There they are. I'm going to list them for $65, you guys. I'm going to go high, and I'm going to go low, and I'm going to go high, and I'm going to go low. And we got cargo pants kind of look. I don't even know how to get all this in the picture. I'm just going to take a half angle of it. Mm -hmm. And we're going to take a picture of that cute butt. It's got these sweater pockets. It's cute. These sweater trim. Pretty cool. If I don't say so myself. If I do say so myself. Is that that song go? Y'all know what I'm talking the Jay-Z. <laughs> okay. Um, fashion. Fashion, it says on the button. So I'm going to put the word cargo because these have like those cargo pockets. Yep. Get a picture of the cargo pocket. Here we go. Okay. Let's see. Green sweater trim pockets. I don't know. I forgot the word cargo. Cargo pocket pants. Pre owned, no stains or Holes category pants. We're gonna do skinny. They look skinny to me. They look pretty regular or skinny. They're definitely not bell bottoms, that's for sure. That's what I grew wore when I was a kid. Wide leg or whatever. What size are these? I don't even know if these are men's or women's. What in the hell? Let's see. Oh, well, wide 30, long 34. I'm going to have to say that these are women's because look at that waist. That's itty bitty. Let's go with, I'm totally wrong on this. Standard size juniors size 
30, right? So I'm going to have to type that for sure. Uh, I'm going to take out green in the topic since we're going to put the color in the description anyways. You don't have to type it. So we need to definitely put the measurements in the very top line. So it's the main search engine that's, you know, able to pull up quickly. So a 30 by 34 is what I think you can put. 30 by 34. And then I'll type in the comments just like the tag W colon 30 colon whatever. 30 and then length is someone will probably ask me for the inseam on these later. We'll see. Maybe they'll just buy them like the last girl did. Okay, uh, brand diesel D I E. Oh, Y'all can still see my hands. Ay, ay, ay. Okay, color green. New tags. No. Gonna list them um, for sixty. Okay. Oh, look at the stripes. I think I'm gonna include that in the picture because it's a unique thing about it. And do we need a picture of this tag a little bit more? Sorry, you guys can't see what I'm doing here, huh? Okay, done. <clears throat> okay. I hate when I have to fight with new roofs to put on houses. People just fix your roofs. Um, I'm just going to list these to get them out of the tubs and into a listed tub. Um, I did look up these pants and they are, they look like they're brand new. Aren't they pretty? This blue, you guys, this aqua baby blue, such a beach color. Like if I had a beach or a lake house, I tell my husband all the time I would paint it like this color. So it always feels like you're at the beach. Um, <laughs> sorry, that's off topic. Um, but I've had these shorts for like a whole month or so. They are called Southern Tide, um, but I think they're pretty brand new. And again, I'm just tired of looking at them. I know it's totally out of season, but maybe someone's going to a beach or a resort in the winter because it's cheaper on sale. I don't freaking know. I'm going to list these bad boys. And guess what? For now, I'm just going to list them on Poshmark, but uh, when I go pick up my kid, I have to wait for him for school. Sometimes I'll transfer over to uh, eBay stuff since the pictures are already in my phone from Posh. So that's been really convenient. Okay, let's see here. Ay, ay, ay. I'm gonna have to take my dog into the vet, you guys. Okay. Um. Let's see. Isn't it pretty? It's okay. The picture. I don't like that the trim in my walls in the background, but I mean, who cares, right? It's clean. It's not. It's not terrible. So. Let's see. Got that listed. 
get an angle shot. Showing a bunch of funk. I need some like tape to get all that off. Yes. Yeah. Really, literally, this looks like a um, upper class someone who's got uh, money and they probably want it to be really clean. And I see a bunch of little dark stuff. This is great and cheaper, way less inexpensive. I even have lint rollers, but I don't think lint rollers work as good as this. So, who knows? The squeaky chair is driving me crazy. What are y'all eating for lunch? I'm getting hungry. It's about that time. I need some more light. Get over here. Got a lot of interest. See, I mean, there's this huge tag in here, guys. Let's learn. Are you ready? Uh, so the brand is Southern Tide. It's Intracoastal Waterway. So this huge tag. You ready? It's literally a story. I'll show you a picture of it, but we're gonna learn. Um, Intracoastal Waterway System was commissioned in 1919 by the U.S. Congress. See, it's got that little fish. I haven't even screenshotted that yet. Channel markers, it says on the button. That's weird. Um, anyway, sorry. Um, see how, like, sidetracked I get? Um, let's see. The waterway was commissioned in 1919 by the U.S. Congress. It was built to provide a sheltered passage for commercial shipping and pleasure craft. The phrase red on right, retuming, applies to the intracoastal waterway markers heading south from Maine to Miami is considered returning. Traveling in this direction, red ICW markers will appear on the right. Floating red markers are called nuns and are triangular and are triangular in shape. They are marked with even numbers. Floating green markers are called cans. Um, they are square and are marked by odd numbers. The intercoastal waterway is maintained by the U.S. Army Corps of Engineers. Ooh, fancy. I don't know. That's cool. I don't get it, though. So, yeah, I'm not even going to comment on that. So, y'all don't judge me. Because uh, I wasn't really reading it, listening to it while I was reading it. So, okay. Gosh, that's blue stuff. So, we'll definitely put like army in the description somehow. Okay. Squeaky, squeaky. Trying to take a picture. Yeah, those. Those creases are killing me. I'm not steaming these. I'm not doing it. They can steam in their cells. So I even got a wrinkle, a huge wrinkle in the picture because don't be complaining about it when you get it. Um, okay, so what did I say these were? Southern Tide Tide Boat Shorts. Oh, I'm going to put aqua blue. Aqua blue. Free owned, no holes or stains. 
category men's shorts what are they athletic cargo flat front hybrids or jean shorts i'm going to put none so what's the size Wide 30, 80%, 98% cotton. We definitely need to put that in the listing. Waste is a 30, it says. So 80% cotton. No, no, 98. The heck? Ninety-eight percent cotton. Two percent elastane. Elastane. Okay. Brand. I don't know. Are they called Southern Tide? Southern Tide. I don't know. Yeah, there it is. Uh, apparently. Poshmark recognizes it, which is super cool, you guys. That's good. Good thing. Um, color is blue. Totally blue. I put aqua blue, so. Can't remember how much. I think these sell for a lot, so I'm just going to start them at 45. I think they go for more um, or a little bit less. Who knows? I'll fix it later. I don't really care. 45 is still a really good profit, and I'm not going to be greedy to list it for 65 because I got way too much crap to worry about it. So we'll just be gone with those. Put those with the pants that I just listed so they'll be together with like sh uh, bottoms. So I do like to put all my shirts in one plastic tub and then my pants with another and then like sweaters in one if I have a bunch, dresses in one because usually I have a whole tub of dresses. Okay, I don't want to list these, but I guess I will. <laughs> I know they feel I feel like these are ugly, but they're super comfy. Um, I'm going to list them, but I think I'm going to maybe wear them a little bit. But I think they sell for good money. The Portania, I guess. Let me show you. Let me look it up. And there's, what is this, kind of a snake skin look, kind of, or they're kind of ugly, but they do fit pretty. I like that they're solid black. Or Tania, is that what it is? Or Tania, it's made in Europe. Or Tania, what is it, slip-ons? I'm just going to type shoes. Okay, there's only one listed in my size for $15. Um, but I'm going to take off my size. And now I'm not pulling up any. I swear I thought I saw them. So there's two, 40 and 20. I don't know. I'm just going to list them. I'll list them for 40 bucks. When I bought my fabric, you guys, it has a error in it. I don't know if I've mentioned this like months ago, but when I bought it, it has black fur built in right here. So it's like a unique staining of my flawed fur. So I always, sometimes I'll use it in the picture because it looks cool. And then a lot of times I have to move stuff just to cover it up. It's a pain. I wonder if my mailman's okay. So I'm pretty sure the mail like never really went sometime this week. Like by three o'clock, I had to I went ahead and took it to the post office, and just now there was a lady. And my regular mailman is a man. He's older. I hope he's okay. This chair is driving me crazy. So here's a picture of it. It looks super comfy, you guys. <clears throat> okay, so black peep toe. I'm going to put small heel slip-ons. I'm sure there's some other words for that. I don't care. Um, Pre-owned. Obviously, I'm getting hungry, so I'm just ready to list this stuff. Pre-owned. 
normal wear C photos. Category, shoes. What are these? Mules or clogs? No. Oh, there's my husband. Okay, he's home. We're going to eat some dinner. Some dinner. Some lunch. And maybe I'll be back online here later, you guys. I'm still going to be listing um, all day. I need to catch up, make some money. I'm behind. Um, so. Peace out. We'll see y'all. Peace out. We'll see y'all in the next video. Bye.